Welcome back guys to the channel. Today we're talking about some buffs and nerfs that are happening in the next week. If you want to hear from a terrible Diamond 5 player, then I'm going to give you my opinions on what may or may not get nerfed, right? Uh, and how it might happen. So the first buff, guys, we got Frost List Lich Cross Stitch. I can't say it. Deal 4 damage to a character if it dies. Some of the 3-6 elemental that freezes. Not a terrible card, but it hasn't really been used. The I think the best thing for this is probably going to be a reduction in how much it costs. Probably go to a 4 drop. Not a super great card. And then the only other buff we actually have is in Druid, which is terrific. I love to see Druid being buffed. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Love to see it. Um, Sky Mother Aviana. Battle Cry Shuffle 10 random legendary minions into your deck that cost one. I would like for them to still cost one, but I would like Aviana to be a five cost. I think that would be good. Um, I don't think the stats actually matter. I think you're just playing it for the, the battle cry. So that's kind of where it is, right? I think it's a good card, but um, I, I, I definitely think it could be playable. But make it a five drop. For the nerfs, guys, we have, of course, Awakening Tremors. Of course, we have... Imagine not knowing how to search stuff. That'd be crazy. Um... <clears throat> First card we got is Awakening Tremors for the nerfs. Awakening Tremors is alright. I feel like if you make the actual card a 2 drop, you kind of like just lose the card in general. Uh, because you still have to pay mana for the worms. So you probably just make the worms less good, right? Make them three ones. It's probably all you gotta do. Uh, next off, guys, we got the Paladin nerfs, of course. Um, all of these nerfs, actually. I think two of them are from the new cards. Of course, guys, we wouldn't be talking about Paladin if it wasn't about Tigris, right? Tigris plushie, miniaturized, rush, life steal, divine shield. I would personally, what I think is gonna happen is we're probably gonna get like a an increase, right, on how much it costs. It's probably probably gonna become a four drop. I would like to see it become a two two or become a two one. Maybe that's just me, right? I mean, there's. A lot a lot of buffs in the deck so i don't know i feel like a 2-1 would be something or they could make it a four drop i don't know there's just this this card definitely needs to get nerfed at least in some way shape or form because it is insane the fact that it gives you a mini version too just makes it worse because you can buff that one up too right it, it's barely barely a bad thing to get the mini the aura for the aura we're losing a deputization aura I would like to see it last two turns, and I would like to see it be two attack. I think you keep it three mana. You know, it sucks that you can search it, right, uh, with the one Painter guy. I think the Painter guy is way too good. I think Painter guy should have been nerfed, honestly. I think he gives way too much consistency. Uh, I can spell Painter. If I were to have actually nerfed something, I would have either nerfed Painter's Virtue, uh, made it a 2-2 two -two probably, or nerfed uh, the actual guy who searches this stuff. Which is this guy right here, the Trinket Artist. Because I think he just offers too much consistency. I think it's just a little bit too crazy. And then, of course, we are losing or something's happening to Streamscavate. I would like for something. I, I think at this point, you can only really rework the card. Um, I think it's just too. I think it's just too good, man. I don't think Paladin should. Paladin should not have Wind Fury, considering the fact that it also has Life Steal. It has all these rushers. It has chargers they can buff up. I mean, it feels like this deck has just all the keywords, and it's not a good thing, I think. Aside from that, um, Paladin also gets the Azerite Dragon, which is... I mean, for the for the Excavate versions that are playing it, right? Azerite Dragon is basically just a whole deck buff, and it's, it's insane, right? If we can make this card worse... And make it only go in the excavate versions. I think that'd be a good thing. Um, the one card that we're getting nerfed from Shaman is, of course, we're losing Thrall's Gift. Um, what are things going to happen with it? I think uh, we're probably going to lose Lightning Bolt. I think it's probably... It could be another, like, Lightning Spell in general. I think... Um, is, there, is it just Lightning Storm? um i guess out of these yeah it would have to be lightning storm um 
Lightning Bolt's just a really good source of cheap damage. And especially with uh, Flash of Lightning, right? You go Flash of Lightning, next turn, Lightning Bolt's freeze. You can play like... You can play up to like four of them, I think. It's a lot. Or I guess with Lightning Reflexes, you can play even more than that, right? But um, I think the only... You know, not crazy card you could put in to the Thralls gifts is probably Lightning Storm. Lightning Reflexes would be too good. And Flash of Lightning would be way too good. And those are the only other, like, thematic cards that you could put in there. <clears throat> For the next nerf, we got Aftershocks. I feel like this, you could probably reduce the mana cheat, right? You could probably make it cost one less. I think that would probably be where I start with this. Yeah, I don't think it's a super crazy card, but... Um, yeah, just make, it, make the mana cheat a little bit worse. Of course, they had to nerf my boy Odin. Honestly, I feel really bad because when I got into the game again around, uh, what was it, Festival of Legends, I think, or like the set before that, um, Warrior was just a garbage deck. And from everybody that I've talked to, Warrior was just really bad for a long, long time. And it feels bad that they finally got something good. And it's, fine. it's getting nerfed, right? Especially when the fact that there's no other really super great strategies that the deck has. Um, except for that, whenever I play it on turn 8, it feels really bad, especially if my opponent has one or two minions on board, or if my opponent's, uh, was it, Paladin? If they're Paladin, I'm probably dying next turn anyway. Like, this guy is just not, I don't know, maybe that's just me being bad and losing to all the Paladins, but hopefully Paladin slows down a little bit and Odin will be right up a little bit. Maybe this is like a preemptive nerf. Maybe they think Paladin's going to go down, so oh, Warrior will come back up, right? Or maybe they're trying to push the new strategies, but there's really nothing else good. Um, I think they're probably just going to make it a 9 or a 10 drop. I hope it's not a once per turn. If it is a once per turn, the deck is dead. Uh, the class is dead. But um, I hope it's not once per turn. <laughs> if it's once per turn, I'm going to scream, dude. Because I actually like playing Warrior. And of course, we have my boy Ziliax Deluxe 3000. I just, I, I just crafted him and like, I don't mind. It's not a big deal. I mean, because, you know, for cards that get nerfed, right, we get our dust back. But uh, Ziliax, I think, is really good. I, <clears throat> I'm honestly not entirely sure what, excuse me, hold on, right? I don't know which one it is exactly that they would nerf on the customizing. Um, if I were to choose, probably... The ticking module for it is pretty good. Uh, this basically makes it so that you have like a mountain giant in your hand, which is kind of crazy. I think just reducing the mana cheat is, is good, right? Either make this cost more. Right, make it a four or five. Make, make the four, make it a five or a six or a seven. And then keep the text the same. Or make it so it's only your minions, right? So you actually have to have stuff on board. Um, I feel like twin module is pretty good. I don't know about y'all. I feel like this is really good, especially with the perfect module. Um, you can basically go back up to full health with this. I mean, I think it's crazy. I think the nine drop is just twin module, perfect module. That's the one that I use personally. I just think it's really crazy. I think it's really good. Um, but yeah, that's basically the nerfs. Hopefully, we see Paladin actually like go down in play rate because I feel like we got this deck. With how many buffs it gets, I think it's insane. Um, it has all the auras, right? I mean, you have ways to search the auras. You have ways to buff your stuff with Grim Tree Outfitter, Painter's Virtue. And then there's just so many cards that get so many different keywords, so many cards that search, so many cards that have life seal. I mean, I think it's... A little bit insane, a little bit kind of eh. Um, and then ideally, right, hopefully Plague Knight comes back. I feel like it's been really bad this past uh, format, but yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure you all check out the brand new event that we have. We have a brand new event, Whizbang's Workshop. For the first one, you get a pack, two packs, four packs, and... A Bobble Mal Ganis. Pretty cool. I like it. I think it's cute. Goodbye.